What's going on, guys? My Twitter followers knew that I promised a Friday transparent video. Obviously, once again, handheld off the iPad. But to me, I want to show you why I think the sim community is dead. First and foremost, reluctantly, the truth about the sim standard video went up. And many of you may or may not have noticed that I did not prominently display it on my main page. If you just go to YouTube slash RyanMoody21, it didn't autoplay either. Funny thing about that is this video has 744 views in a couple days. Now with that said, Sim Football Perspective was up a day prior, only has 262 views. This is a 7 minute video that purely focuses on Sim Football. It took me about 4 or 5 hours to create and it's part of a new series. I want to talk a little bit more about that series. The original intent of sim football perspective was to have it personally delivered to EA and not see the light of YouTube. Much like the same vein myself and Rashawn worked on Backbreaker Blueprint. That way you have a company that can see the information you're providing and it isn't expressed to the public in what some can say is a negative or unconstructive fashion. You can see here back on September 12th of this year contacted through the Operation Sports Forums one of the lead designers of Madden provided him my contact information. Somebody can verify here that has my phone number. That is the last four digits, five digits. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, also tried to put the TSS situation behind us and, you know, look forward and work forward together. You know, here you see back on a post, September 19th, I commented as a commitment I would make to the community. I would essentially pay my own flight and hotel expenses to come down to Community Day next year if EA was willing to accept that. I'd even be willing to pay an advance price based on the expenses of last year. Again, I referenced the point that I've contacted with them uh, with my personal information. The reason I'm saying this is because obviously I was told inadvertently that someone was planning on making a video to expose this, that I would somehow be ashamed of it and look like a sellout. You know, for what it's worth, that's fine. As you can see, I use a very cryptic uh, username on the Operation Sports forums that many people may not realize are linked to my channel. So I certainly could see how that could be construed as, you know, hiding this and having an agenda. But the end result of this is, as I've shown you, you know, a very detailed video relating to sim football was put out, and it wasn't nearly as watched as a quick four-minute video that some people would say was overly dramatic. So my challenge to the people watching this video is, why don't you do what I do? Create a channel, voice your opinion, because we all bring unique interactions to this gaming community. And right now, the community is so slow and so dead because of the product we've continued to have to endure. I want to see more people come out and voice for or against it. I'll watch your videos. I'll support your videos just like I have with everybody else in this community from day one. So I will be back in the week with more, and I hope you will as well.